Hello everyone, I am Mr. Cheebs, and Blender has gotten a new feature pretty recently, and I haven't seen a lot of coverage on it. So, come on over, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So, if we go over to the Blender development page, that's builder.blender.org, that's where you can download experimental versions of Blender, right? And currently we have Blender 2.91 in beta, which means bugs are being fixed, but no new features are being added. And then we've got Blender 2.92 in alpha. And generally I'll check this every other day or so just to see if something new got added to this alpha build because new features are getting added right now. And I'll just check that under this new features and changes place. And generally there's not too much new stuff at the beginning of a development cycle as you know, we're sort of near the beginning for 2.92, but a couple of days ago, I'm looking under this physics tab, and well, the APIC fluid simulation method. There is now basic support for APIC simulations. Now, APIC stands for a fine particle in cell, as I learned from this research paper, which I'll quickly scroll on screen real quick, and I'll throw a link down in the comment section, but essentially, APIC is just a different mathematical way of calculating a fluid simulation, as opposed to flip, which is our current method and currently the only way we can do it in Blender. So pretty much, APIC is a different way to do fluid simulations, and we're going to test it out in this video. Theoretically, it should be faster than flip while also giving us good results, and ideally, and theoretically being more stable. So, let's test it out, and let's see what this new fluid simulation method is all about. The first test that we will be conducting is a speed test. So essentially, we just want to see if APIC really does bake simulations faster than flip. So, in order to do this, I've shut down all programs on my computer, except for Blender, and I've baked each of these three simulations twice, once with Flip and once with APIC. Now, all the settings are the same across the board, and they are the default, so that's a flip ratio of 0.97 when baking with Flip. Everything else is default except for on this simulation of the viscous sheet going back and forth. On that, I've set the base to 1 and the exponent to 10 so that we can get some viscosity and test that. So, without any further ado, let's look at the results for this. Interestingly enough, APIC was faster, but only in those first two simulation bakes. On the last one, it was a bit slower than flip, and the only thing I can think of for why is the scale of the objects. The first two simulations were at a relatively large scale, while that third simulation had all of its objects scaled down. So, it seems that on large-scale simulations, APIC should be faster. The next thing to compare is cache size. With this water drop, Flip was 17.1 gigabytes, whereas APIC was also 17.1 gigabytes. With the viscous sheet, Flip was 3.94 gigabytes, and APIC was 4.27 gigabytes. And with this last simulation of the cups pouring, we have APIC taking up 9.87 gigabytes and FLIP taking up 9.84. So not too large of a difference there. We can see that APIC seems to be a little bit larger than its FLIP counterpart, but we only have three simulations to go off of here, so I'm not sure if that's exactly enough data points. I might make more simulations to see if where this trends on average, but for the scope of this video, I didn't have enough time to do that. So, visually, what is the difference between these two methods? Well, Flip is great for creating large chaotic simulations with very big amounts of in-air particles, whereas APIC is great for creating simulations that look smooth and have a lot of swirling vortices and whatnot. Vortices? However you pronounce that. 
If we look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the water drop, we can see that Flip drops all of the water at once and creates this nice little bowl shape, throwing all those particles up into the air. APIC, on the other hand, drops the water a bit slower, and it ends up being a lot more flowy, splashing around. It isn't exactly throwing up a bunch of water like the flip one. In the simulation with the viscous sheet, the flip remains relatively smooth as all the fluid is dropped, whereas APIC ends up banding some of the fluid together to create a bit more visual interest. When we pour the cups, we can see that Flip pours more smoothly than APIC, but once the cups overflow, we can see that APIC appears more smooth on the ground, flowing a bit better than Flip does. So what's the conclusion here? APIC is pretty awesome. Ultimately, which one you should use really depends on a variety of factors. APIC looks to be faster in, in larger scaled simulations, but the trade-off there is less grandeur and fewer particles in the air. So if you want a crazy, chaotic simulation, you may want to go for flip. APIC does give more swirling action, it looks like. Seems to be a bit smoother. So if you want that, then I would recommend going for APIC. Ultimately, I would recommend actually saving two separate blend files if you're questioning what method to use, and then create two caches and just have flip in one and APIC in the other and just see which one looks better. You don't have to bake at a super high resolution, just test them both and see which one you like more. I want to thank all my patrons for making this channel possible. You guys are really awesome and I love you all. That's Matt, Terry Davis, Susan Uncle, Atomic Alf, Terry D. Swanee, Justin Oliver, and Don Hopkins. Y'all are awesome. Thank you everyone who watched this video. Give it a like so that more people can see this new fluid simulation method because it's really awesome. And uh, have a great day.